Okay, so now I'm going to start um, the computer on. I'm going to turn it on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep pressing F12. Um, and I'm going to try and boot into the BIOS. So you can see here, um, we've got some options here. What we'll do is scroll down to uh, BIOS setup. Okay. And now we are in the BIOS. So what we'll do is we'll configure the boot sequence. So what we want is um, ideally uh, we want to make sure that um, this is in UEFI in the boot list options. Um, so the other thing is we're going to move this uh, Patriot. Uh, so we're, we're going to make um, the we're going to turn off the boot manager. Um, and it will then go into the USB um, stick at first, which is what I want. I want it to boot off the USB first, and then it'll boot off into um, that Patriot 2 terabyte uh, SSD. And we keep it in that UF, UEFI mode. Um, now, scrolling back onto the left here, um, we'll go into... Uh, Power management. In terms of AC recovery, what this will do, if we put this on power on, what will happen is every time there is a power outage, the node box will start back on automatically without you having to press the button to turn it on. So that's a really good feature there. So um, in the event of a power outage, it'll automatically turn back on. And so that's what, what um, I typically like to set this to. Um, other than that, um, you can look at secure boot options, have that disabled, um, particularly when you're using uh, Ubuntu. Um, but other than that, everything else looks pretty good. Um, now for older machines, you might need to push this to legacy, but uh, for newer ones, um, UEFI is the way to go. So um, we make sure that we have the USB um, uh, drive first in the sequence and then, um, and then the two terabyte SSD. Um, so that's what's it's going to boot off that um, USB drive. So let's hit apply on that and press OK. And then we'll go down to exit and we'll exit out of that. And the computer will now reboot. OK, so we'll go into try or install Ubuntu server. OK, so um, you'll enter eventually into this uh, setup wizard. Um, so we'll go with English. Um, we'll hit done. Okay, now we want Ubuntu server. Um, you can put minimized if you so wish. I think what we'll do is we will do um, minimized. So we'll put an enter on that one. And done. Um, now this uh, node box has been assigned uh, 192.168.55.117 for me. So that is... Um, uh, uh, yeah, we'll need that. We'll need that number, and we will uh, make a note of that uh, um, uh, for when we SSH in. So we'll need that number, and so just make a make a mental note of that. <laughs> um, we'll hit done. Go next. Um, and if you use an alternative mirror, say yes. So I'm in Australia, so it's going to use the Australian ones. So done. Now what I'm going to do is use entire disk. And then I'm going to not set this one up as an LVM. Um, and that's all it is. So it's just uh, use an entire disk. And that should, be, that should be the only X that's there. Okay. Um, and then this will just sort of give you a confirmation screen of what's going on. Um, so we're going to be uh, formatting that 2 terabyte SSD. Um, and yeah, we'll just go hit done. And are you sure you want to continue? continue. Now in terms of name, I'm going to put in uh, Satoshi. Server's name, I'm going to put Nodebox. Uh, username Satoshi and password, I'm also just going to put Satoshi. Um, you can choose whatever you so wish, um, but this is what is in the default for Nodeboxes. So click on done. Um, we'll skip the Ubuntu Pro for now. Um, continue. And we'll, we will want to install OpenSSH server. So click on that one, make sure that's um, got an X next to it, and then go down to done. Um, none of this needs to be installed, so hit done, and we should now be installing Ubuntu.
Okay, so when the bottom now says uh, reboot now, you can now reboot your system. Um, and it'll say, please remove the installation medium and then press enter. This is where you want to um, disconnect the installation media. So just uh, remove that and press enter and it should just reboot. Okay, so then you'll be presented with this login screen and you can log in with Satoshi and password Satoshi as well and you're in. Um, from here, uh, in terms of post installation steps, um, so with your node box now, you can disconnect all of the peripheral devices except for the ethernet port and the uh, power supply. And so the end result will look like this. You'll have an ethernet cable in there as well as a power supply. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. If you'd like to have one-on-one -on -one consulting, click on the consulting button and book a session on the calendar widget. And if you'd like to purchase a Bitcoin node, head on over to the shop and purchase one from shop.ministryofnodes.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.